there is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. I was born 3,000 years ago, during the Western Zhou Dynasty. I've been here ever since, a time capsule buried in the earth. The years have taken their toll. The string that kept me together has long since rotted away. But it's still all there, all 204 pieces of me. In a sense, the 204 pieces of me are individual words, each one meaningful in itself. Strung together, they're part of something more meaningful, a sentence. Worn round someone's neck, more meaningful still. Part of a paragraph, part of a story, part of a new world of meaning. A world in which dragons and geese sit side by side where fish and silkworms dangle on the same thread. Here, we see two dragons intertwined, but these are not quite the dragons we've come to know and love. These blend elements of the dragon with that of the phoenix. One even has a human head. Each piece of jade brought alive by a powerful imagination long ago then strung together into a menagerie, creatures of land, sea, sky, and the imagination dancing on a chain. In these days of its glory, the entire jade chain would have dangled nearly down to the feet. Other jade items were found alongside it in the tomb from which it was unearthed, show that whoever was buried here was laid to rest covered in jade from head to toe. But it was about more than the ostentation of wealth, the trappings of status. Beautiful and valuable though jade is, being adorned with it was also spiritual, an expression of love for the world, a way of imbuing the body with its power. Because of that, the Zhou bequeathed the continuing legacy, one of the constant themes of Chinese culture, jade wear. <music> Nevertheless, it was about wealth and status too. Hierarchy was strictly defined during the Western Zhou dynasty, and it was reflected in what people wore. This jade pendant would have hung almost to the feet, inhibiting movement, suitable only for somebody who lives the somewhat almost leisurely life. In those days, etiquette was very important, an invisible informal system of law and regulation. That's one reason why jade became so important, as a carrier of etiquette something that defined a person's moral and social standing. Billions of years ago, movements in the Earth's crust created jade. Our ancestors dug it up, holding in their bare hands a substance already rich in history. Stone gestated over eons brought down from the highest mountain peaks to the beds of the rivers by processes that took millions of years. Historically, the journey has been shorter, but no less significant. 3,000 years of change and progress, of countless lives, of the rise and fall of dynasties. Maybe that's why this pendant is so special. It's a fusion of the wonders of human culture and creativity and the eternal beauty of nature and the universe.